Alright guys, so welcome to this rant vlog thingy. Uh, basically yesterday I was streaming and I just got, I went on a roll and I was just ranting and you guys, uh, well one guy suggested, well one person suggested that I do rants on my channel and I said, you know, if anyone wants that, say it in chat. And I got like, quite a lot of uh, feedback saying that I should. So, I said I would and I started talking about this on the stream, but as you see from the title, I'm gonna be, well, I'm gonna be getting mad. Uh, not mad, but I'm just gonna be ranting about the EULA or the EULA or the end user license agreement whatever you want to call it or the terms and conditions whatever of Mojang and Minecraft and the way it's going to affect servers and YouTube and Minecraft as a whole. Now I'm not completely informed and I did watch the BBL Fox video and I did read a couple of things about it um, but that doesn't mean that everything's going to be true or correct and I might be misinformed or wrong about some things so if I am then well don't destroy me or get mad at me because well no one's perfect alright I don't know everything. Uh, me personally I didn't even know that you couldn't sell stuff that wasn't cosmetic or sell things that were vanilla items in game. I didn't know that until they did this whole thing of changing the EULA. It was never enforced when I was around and I had no idea what it was and I was really confused at the start I didn't know what was happening I didn't understand why they were doing it or like what it was all right I understand that yeah you you make a product and yeah it's it's going well it's being popular and there's always going to be bad times there's always going to be negativity in it and just because like there's kids who take money from their parents credit cards debit cards whatever and they purchase stuff well, that's not Mojang's fault, and that's not the server's fault either. That's the parent's fault for leaving a child have access to that, and leave them be able to do that. I understand that there are going to be bad apples, like servers who sell like $10,000 ranks, that is, that is crazy. And to us, I, do, I don't really believe that people actually did buy that, because like, why would you spend 10000 on a Minecraft server? That's a bit, it's a bit weird for a rank. What annoys me about it is that, yeah, okay, people are going to have ranks, and Mojang may not agree with them having that, but no one is being forced to buy them. I mean, I might, I might be selling antique lamps in real life, but that doesn't mean anyone's gonna buy it. And whether someone else thinks it's wrong, or weird, or bad, or a negative thing, doesn't mean anything because the other people don't have to buy it. There's no reason for them to buy it unless they want to. It's no one else's business. If you wanna spend $100, $500, $1,000, $10 grand, which I do think is a bit over the top, but like, if they want to do that, that's their business. Now with the cases with the kids stealing the credit cards, well, that's the parents' problem, and them contacting Mojang and Minecraft and saying, quote-unquote, oh, why was I, why did my child have to pay this? They didn't have to pay it, you let them, you let them access to a credit card or money, and that amount of money, and you leave them there unsupervised, that's your own fault. There's no one to blame but you. And for Mojang to punish everyone, because there's a couple bad apples, there's like, there's like a couple bad apples in the system, really is not fair and I feel like they undermine what the server community like the ser servers as a whole and YouTube like YouTube and the servers are intertwined YouTube like a lot of YouTube videos for Minecraft at least are they're mostly on servers promoting servers playing mini games custom mini games with different game types and custom things custom coded things on different servers and faction is going to be absolutely destroyed by this UELA and it's and that in turn will affect youtubers who do factions Matt for example Matt the back camping rusher no craft for the win there's a lot of people who do factions and that'll affect people directly now what I think would be something more fair would be to have some sort of implementation where they have a moderating team at Mojang and they go through there's some sort of a report system where if like you know someone feels that a server is out of line, then they can report them, go through individually, a moderator from the Mojang team will go on that server on like on an unknown account and look and just take a look. And if they feel that it's out of line, well then they'll put it in a the line, they'll fix it, or they'll go and get into contact with the owners, try and fix something, and if not, well, buy server. It's a couple of bad individuals and that should not make a big it's a couple of bad individuals and a group of good people. And you know, I just really don't think it's fair to punish everyone because of a couple of bad people. And I'm gonna be, and like this is gonna this is a good example because the only reason I know about Minecraft is because of the Yogscast. The Yogscast are the people who got me into Minecraft, and then I started doing YouTube because of people like Beijing Canadian. That's why I got into survival games. And there, that's the survival games. Blah, blah, blah. And that is the perfect example. Beijing Canadian did survival games on MCSG. I watched that, I then went to MCSG, I started recording that, and it's like a cycle. You don't see people doing survival let's plays at this point, or hardcore let's plays. There's a very small minority who do, and I don't really think that those are going to have much effect in the promotion and the, the, the growth of Minecraft at this point. Because servers have been such a big part of it at this point. I really think that without servers, and without YouTubers intertwined into that little circle, Minecraft would not be anywhere near as popular as it is today. I know nothing about Minecraft Realms, I don't know how it works or anything. 
And since it was added, I didn't even have, I had no interest in looking into it because I, um, I'm fine with servers. I'm happy with servers, as same as a lot of other people. And to be honest, I don't really care because you know what? Servers are good for Minecraft at the moment. There's the small minority who are bad, but right now they are promoting Minecraft. They are giving them income. They are promoting Mojang with a source of income. I feel like they're doing this to migrate people from Minecraft servers over to Minecraft Realms, regardless of whether they want to or not, or whether they have an original interest. Once this comes in, and, fa and faction servers is one example, who are going to die, people are going to, from faction servers, hardcore faction players, they'll either quit Minecraft, or they'll go to something else. And the only, like, there's a very strong, there's a minority of servers that are going to be okay. Hypixel, for example, I think have already been, like, have already got contact with Mojang, and I've already been told that they're okay. I think the Hive is okay too, I don't know about MCSG, uh, those are just the big ones that I can think of off the top of my head. My server, the Genesis for example, I think we're okay, we had a couple of things that we had to remove because of the ULA, but otherwise we're okay, so we'll be fine. Besides removing factions, factions will probably have to go because, well, it's just factions is basically pay to play. That's another thing, Notch does not want pay to play Minecraft, but he has allowed that for a long time. <laughs> One good example that I can use right here is Badline. It's a PvP server that, well, it's very popular right now in the community that I'm in. And basically, unless you're a donor, you can only play 10 ranked or competitive matches a day. And that is that is 100% pay to play. And they're either going to have to remove that or they're, they're going to get shut down by Mojang. They're going to get destroyed. I don't know if Mojang are actually going to directly just shut down a server or if they even have the power to do that. But yeah, I really just feel like Mojang are undermining what the Minecraft server community and how much YouTubers have done. For example, Notch and the Yoxcast got into an argument on Twitter, I believe. I'm, I could be mistaken, but I think they did. I, I heard about it. Um, and apparently, it was Yoxcast were getting annoyed at Notch because of the Uela or something like that. Um, and because they were saying that without, Yo without the Yoxcast, Minecraft wouldn't be where it was. And that is quite arrogant and egotistical of them, but in a way, it's kind of true, because, for example, I wouldn't be here without them, and because of Shadow of Israfel, Shadow of, Is uh, Shadow of Israfel, that brought in a lot of people. Like, I loved that series. Like, when I was, like, 13, that was... I loved it. I loved it so much. I was only 13 years old. Israfel is love, Israfel is life. And apparently Notch was just calling them egotistical and stuff, and that's fair enough, but, again, that just makes me feel like he undermines what people have done for the community um, for the growth of Minecraft. As an overall, I don't really think this ULA is fair. I believe they should add in some sort of moderation system individually for bad apples where there's a report system. Mojang members can go in, employ new staff, and that would be a lot better than just pot just cutting everyone off. It just really doesn't seem fair to me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this rant. If there's anything that you guys want me to talk about in another rant or another vlog or anything then leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think of the ua down below i will be replying to comments in this video leave a like rating for more rants and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye